welcome to Tyriel Arts. When I created Tyriel Magic, I created it to give fabric a firmer hand and to keep fabric from fraying. Tyriel Magic enables you to make three-dimensional art out of single-ply fabric. Here are some roses that I've done. We have eight flower patterns and two quilt patterns. The quilt patterns are great. They allow you to showcase your three-dimensional art and we have stem pockets, so you're able to change the flowers out. So cool. We've also learned that Tyriel Magic is great for stabilizing your fabric, which means you can use it instead of traditional paper stabilizers in your embroidery machine, your cutting machine, or your printer. Treating fabric is really easy. I like to use a glass bowl. You take your fabric, your Tyriel Magic, and you just spray. I like to spray both sides, and then I take it and I scrunch it. This helps distribute the solution, and you want the solution to just come to the surface. This feels, still feels a little dry, so I'm going to open it up, and I can see a couple of dry spots. I'm going to spray those, and then squish it some more, and there you have it. Now you're going, to, you're going to take the fabric, and I like to hang it. I hang it outside in my sun porch or in front of the stove for about 10 or 15 minutes. It'll still be damp, and I like to finish drying it using my iron. Once you've ironed it dry, it becomes like a sheet of paper. Isn't that nice? So, you're ready for your next project. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Tyriel Magic and your electronic cutting machines. I'm going to be using the Silhouette Cameo, but there are many machines out there. They all use different tools in order to get your finished product, but today I'm going to be showing you how to mat the fabric for the Silhouette Cameo. This is a piece of treated fabric. As you can see, I've cut it to a 12 by 12 size, the size of my mat. It's pressed. It's just a matter of taking your fabric, centering it on your mat, and pressing it down. I like to use a spatula to get all the bubbles out. It is essential when you're using fabric on a mat that it is really adhered securely. So, that should just about do it. You want to make sure all your edges are down. And then you take your mat, and you just go ahead, and you load your machine. Now that our cut has finished, we just unload the machine and you just start peeling back the fabric. As you can see, the cut pieces remain on the mat. But look how beautiful these cuts are. I have cut six rosebuds. The rosebud pattern is from our rose, arterial arts rose pattern. So you just unmat each one of the cut pieces, and as you can see, they don't fray. They have a very nice hand, and now that your pieces are cut and unmatted, you're ready to get on with your next project. You should know that if you're using a cutter that uses a mat, that your mat is going to start getting less tacky. I find that after about three to six cuts, I want to revamp my mat. So I'm going to show you how it's done. I take the mat and I run it under running water, warm water, and as it's running, I kind of just rub all the fibers off. And they all rinse off very nicely. And once that's done, I like to hang this to dry, again, in front of my stove in the winter or in my sun porch in the summer. 
A word of caution about leaving this in the sun. If it's in the direct sun for more than, I would say, five or ten minutes, it could warp. I've had that happen to one of my mats, and I want to definitely caution you about that. So once it's dry, you're ready to tape it. And the reason you have to tape your mat is that the edges here are what your rollers roll on. And if you have them tacky, because you've oversprayed, your rollers are going to get gummed up and you don't want that. So I'm using painter's tape. As you can see, I've used this many times. I store it on this plastic piece that comes with your mat. So there. I've got it masked. And now I'm going to take this outside or to a well-ventilated room and use a repositional spray. These are my two favorites, 404 and also the CC International. I, you can look either one of these up online to get, but a lot of your quilt and craft shops carry them. So once you're outside, you just lightly spray the entire mat. And then once you're done, you bring it in. You just untape, and again, I like to keep my tape on the cover of my mat so that it's always available for the next time I need to treat my mat. All right. So now, your mat's tacky and you're ready to cut.